I am the voice of Knight Industry 2000's microprocessor, K-I-T-T for easy reference, a kit if you prefer. Just a bit of uh, crazy stuff, just to uh, give you an idea what you can do with transmitters if you didn't know, right? But yeah, there is a proper reason though. You do want your switches to talk, right? You don't have to put all that weird stuff on. That was, like I said, just an explanation. For instance, if you've got your quad flying, uh, you flick your switch. You might have loads of different switches, and you can't remember everything. It's nice to hear acro mode or horizon mode, don't use horizon mode, nobody use horizon mode, right, or air mode or whatever, you know what I mean, right, on a plane you might want to flick a switch and hear the sound flaps down, gear down, landing gear up, landing gear down, right, so basically you want your switches to talk to you, right, just so you know you've hit the correct switch, because like I said, like a plane, if you're flying a plane and you want to flick your flaps, right, it's nice to wear flaps down and then you know for a fact you've hit the flaps and not the landing gear, right? That's if you're flying FPV, right? If you're flying standard, you know you know. And postman's here. Two second cut. And we're back. <sighs> got a parcel. Let's see, let's do a mailbox. Let's see what we've got. Uh, let's have a look. I think it's some GST cable adapters. Oh, really? Yeah. Some little uh, point 0.1 little adapters for the uh, uh, little micro tiny wolpy thing. Yeah. Yeah, I know. If anyone's saying you can make them, I know, but the cheapest chips, that bag of 20 cost me 99p. So, yeah. So, anyhow, getting back. Uh, <laughs> Mail call. Getting back to what I just said. Yeah, if you're flying a plane and you've got your goggles on, right, and you, you hit your landing gear, you want you want to make sure you've hit the correct switch for your landing gear to come down, especially with your goggles on, right, and same with flaps and stuff. And like I said, with quads, it's nice to hear that. Yeah, now, now you've gone from, let's, let's say you take off from landing angle mode, right, and then you flick to acro or whatever. It's just something you can do with your transmitters and stuff. And you can piss up out and put really wacky frigging stuff on as well, like I did. Okay then, so let's jump onto the computer, right, and uh, show you how to do it. Okay then, right, so the first thing you need, right, you need some software called Audacity. Right, if I remember, I'll leave a link in the description. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to use and show you all the different things you can do with Audacity. Just look it up on YouTube. There are hundreds of videos out there. You can do loads of stuff with Audacity. I use it all the time. Right, but you need to get Audacity. Right, it's a very well-known piece of... Uh, well, musical, shall we say, software for editing all sorts of different uh, voiceovers. You can you can do a lot with it, but you need this piece of software, Audacity. And obviously, you need uh, some what you want to put on, whatever it happens to be. Uh, at the moment, I've got this one. If you just have a listen. Hopefully you heard that, just says wipe out. But anyway, once you've got Audacity opened, all right, first thing, come down to this project right here and change it to 1600, okay? And then just drag your music, your whatever, into Audacity, all right? Now here, you can edit, you can crop, you can cut, you can do all sorts of things, but you'll have to practice with your audacity and figure all that out. But if you've got exactly what you want and the right length and all like that, you're sorted with this bit. Okay then, right, the next bit. 
All right, on this little box here, where it actually gives the name of the uh, track, Wipeout, you need to click the little down arrow, and you'll see here it's already on mono, because it happens to be a mono track. If it wasn't, make sure mono is selected. Okay. Right, oops, didn't mean to do that. Right, now you go down to the bottom, I hope, actually, I'm going to move that up a bit, because I don't know if it'll show too big I don't know if it'll show up on my screen server but right down at the bottom of this drop down box right there's a box that uh, set sample format and you want to set that to 16 bit PCM okay it starts with 32 you want to set it to 16 bit PCM now that's it that's all you have to do. You don't have to do anything else. And then all you would do then is, uh, well, save, basically export your audio. Right? And I won't bother because I've already got it actually. Right? But that is it. If I just uh, click that. Right, yeah bit dark in here but you won't be seeing me for too much longer that's all you have to do for that bit and then export it and you've got your track and it's all ready to go and don't forget it could have been a long track and you just wanted a little piece of it you know what I mean you can put an entire you can have an entire album playing if you want in the background while you're flying but uh, well, I don't know how much battery it use but if you wanted you could download uh, an al your favorite album and have your fucking uh, transmitter blasting out your favorite album as you bloody uh, flying but yeah so just remember them couple of little steps and the next bit now all right we're gonna have to switch cameras again and move on to the transmitter all right oh first of all what you need to do sorry I'm trying to keep this simple and I'm sort of jumping ahead of myself what you need to do is take your micro SD card all right out of your Nevada transmitter okay right and plug it in to your computer which I'll show you that now okay then right you took your SD card out of your Nevada transmitter alright and you plugged it into your computer and this is roughly the first sort of screen you see well you're looking for sounds which happens to be in this folder so double click that and then you'll come to this little drop down box with all different little letters well they're the different languages basically so you are more than likely not definitely but more than likely want English so that is EN so we'll double click EN now this first drop down box section you come to right this is basically where you'd put anything that you want for a switch anything you want for a switch you would put in here for instance uh, that sound that we've just done right if you want that on a switch you would simply copy that sound you'd have to give it a name first but only four or five maybe six letters right give it a name first right then simply open this up right and uh, paste it in it's simple as that that's all you do you don't have to paste it in a particular area or out like that all you would do if I drop that down a minute is simply copy this which I'll do now I'll copy it right where are we and all you would do is just right click paste and it'll turn up there it is I hope you can see that but it's right at the bottom okay it's appeared right at the bottom now I don't know if my screensaver will show you that but it is down there all right but for now I'm actually going to get rid of that all right because I don't want it on this particular card so anything you want on a switch that's all you do copy it and paste it just straight into this first section okay right now if you want something on your shall we say when you turn the transmitter on like you, you heard man saying this is the voice of the night industry 2000 you know kit night rider all right if you want something from that you what you need to do is open system the top folder all right and then keep scrolling down until you find the word hello as soon as you find the word hello which happens to be there 
right if I play that hopefully you'll hear it on the screen save. welcome to open TX welcome to open TX because that is the original hello welcome welcome to open TX now you don't want to delete that just in case you ever want to use it again all you would do is right click right change the name right you could change it to hello uh, original or hello old right and keep it now what what okay give me words out then right now you want a new hello sound like i did the night rider one which i just said all you would do is go through that original process on the audacity select whatever sound you want for when you turn your transmitter on all right save it like we did with wipeout over here all right give it a name copy and paste but this time you have the name you have to give it is hello h-e-double-l-o you have to name it hello it won't clash with the original because you've renamed that for argument's sake hello old all right so all you need to do is take whichever sound you want like this one rename this sound to hello hello right and your original one will simply be replaced because you've already renamed that to hello old i know i went over that three times then but just to make it quite clear okay and that's all you need to do there right straight away as soon as you put the sd card back into the transmitter and uh, turn it on the first thing that will happen is your welcome uh, your welcome sound will change from that that original welcome to tx to whatever it is you put on it all right it is simple i've probably just made it sound more complicated but it is a very simple process right so you know that first section all right that's where you put all the sounds you want for all your switches then you open that system folder find the word that says hello rename it to hello old or hello one whatever you want to do rename it though then copy and paste your new sound in with the new name of hello put it back into your transmitter and that's off your switches go into that first uh, setting your, your sounds for your switches what uh, i just showed you all right we'll just go back confusing myself now where am i back one sorry yeah before you open system this is where you would add any sound for your switches okay simply open the sound folder we'll go back one more all right hit the en for english all right and then just copy and paste any sound you want into there after you've done the audacity bit and changed a couple of the settings making it mono and stuff what we did right at the beginning well midway okay then right now we'll move on to the transmitter okay then pilots moving on if you hear a buzzing in the background it's the bloody fridge i'm in the kitchen right that uh, initial sound that we put on for the welcome screen you don't have to do anything else with that hello it's done right it will turn on automatically as soon as you turn that on as soon as you turn your transmitter on that welcome whatever you happen to have put on it will work automatically now your switch okay I'm cutting the grass now uh, now your switches are a different matter you actually have to set them up but it's very very simple on your main screen here you got your three icons right tap the middle one okay and on your boxes across the top right you'll find like a little box that looks like it's got a tick in it if you tap that and it's global functions we can ignore them for a minute there's just some i've already got on we'll just move them out the road so it don't confuse all right just uh, global functions that's what you want now what we're going to do is set one up if i just zoom out a little bit for you you see this switch here at the moment doesn't do anything right right so what we do is we select one of these empty boxes that we're not using right which we'll select this one here edit right now on the top 
right if I zoom in again sorry on the top you select which switch you want this one happens to be switch SWC ignore the W right SC so we'll select SC if we can find it uh, SC and we want it down because it's a momentary switch so when we flick it we just want that sound to come on once so down now in the function where it says trainer right you want to tap that and select play track which happens to be right at the bottom here okay now the value represents what track you want to play so if we just tap on that and then you can find wherever you put whatever you have got you can go through it and find it right which one shall we uh, well that's not good let's find that find that idiot one if I can just keep scrolling you'll find stuff right, you got fuck there you got cling on you like this I'll tell you what I'll put the cling on one on for you to show you if you're into Star Trek you'll love this all right put cling on so now if I just zoom out a little bit come out of that come out of that and it's now set and here we go <laughs> if you're into Star Trek, it's a Klingon drinking song. So yeah, you're opening that se that center, the center, se yeah. that center selection picture of a transmitter. Going over to your global functions, we've just set up the Klingon. All right. But if we edit that, you could literally put anything you want on there that you've added. Alright, or oh, that there's already stuff on there, like your flaps and stuff like that. But uh, we'll just change it, and it's simple as that to change it. Come out, and if I flick that switch again. And there you go, that's all there is to it. I'm not going to go over it again because it is really straightforward, it's not difficult at all. Like I said, the transmitter for the welcome message, you don't have to do anything with. As soon as you turn your transmitter on, right, that's programmed in from the hello. Right, and that bit, it's just your global functions and go through that process that I've just shown you. Okay then, pilots and ground crew. Uh, have a bit of fun, play with it. Right, and don't forget... Right, it's just a bit of fun unless you're setting something up that's important. Like over here, I've got my arming switch and I've got... Warp engines ready, Captain. You might not have heard that. It just says warp engines ready. Uh, over here. Acro mode on. Acro mode. Right, so mess about, play with it, do whatever you want. Okay then pilots and ground crew, hope you found this uh, helpful. Any questions, just leave a message in the comments and I'll be happy to get back to you. And uh, cheers.